Okay, so in InDesign, when you're creating a basic form, the first thing you want to do is create your page. So this is a basic eight and a half by 11 page. And you wanna lay out that form with text boxes and just squares and shapes to represent the different form fields. So we've all filled out forms online. So this looks like a basic form. If you don't know how to create a form, I would suggest that you look for form design online in Google Images or you look at a form, like even try to sign up for something like Amazon and see how that form is laid out. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure it's very easy to read, very easy to use, and that you have your brand colors and logo so that it looks like an official document. So for this elementary school, their colors are green and gold, so I'm using green throughout. And then I made the font very big because this is for fifth grade. So, and also because I didn't have a lot of content for this page. So it just makes it a lot easier to fill out. And you'll notice that I've done things like this is very close in proximity to the field that they're gonna type in to type the name. So you can imagine just by being um, close in proximity that these two go together. If for some reason, um, You've, we've all filled out those forms where we're not sure if the first name should go in the box above or in the box below. And that's because they have proximity issues. So you can see that there's a big gap between these two and this next set. Um, and then there's a small gap between this. So again, these look like they go together. Also because we read left to right in America. So um, these two are gonna go together and then you can see I left a gap in all of these things. It looks like one chunk. And notice that it's very aligned and they're the same box size, they're the same stroke size so that it's very uniform and clean, which makes it a lot easier for people to understand what they need to do. Also the instructions, check all to that all that apply are right here so that it's if it was over here, that doesn't make any kind of sense. So that proximity and chunking things is really important. Using really easy to read font, I did do a funner font up here, but I left it really easy to read right here um, so that, it, again, we're trying to make sure that it's functional and then after it's functional, then we make it pretty. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna lay out your form the same way and decide what questions you want to ask and then try to lay them out. So because this one is saying, I acknowledge, I put the box over here, whereas this one is I ask the question first and then the answers are right here. So sometimes you're gonna put things on the left, sometimes you're gonna put things on the right. Um, so just go through it one by one and think what is logical. So once you get that all laid out, then we need to start turning these basic shapes into actual buttons and forms. Now, the one thing I should tell you, though, is that I made sure that mine had a stroke because otherwise it would just look like an empty box and it makes it harder to edit. So I made sure it had a stroke and I made sure it had a fill, even though it's white on white paper. So it seems like we don't need that. If you were to say no fill on this, every time I go to drag it, see how it doesn't drag? And that's because it considers this empty. So you really have to get on the line and then drag it. So I thought that was really annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it with white and then I can grab it anywhere and drag it anywhere. The last thing I'll say about design is alignment. Notice that all of my fields all align on the right here and they all align on the left here. Again, that's gonna make it a lot easier to read and use. So just something that you should be aware of. So in the next tutorial video, we're gonna start talking about how to start creating these as actual interactive fields. What it will look like is it'll eventually look like this, where all of a sudden these things are fillable and we have all these different um, options over here. You can see this has a little icon if I zoom in. You can see that these have icons. This is a text field, text field. You can see some check boxes happening here some dots that represent whether or not they check yes or no, and then two icons for the different types of fields here. So that's why we are first gonna design it, and then we're gonna start adding all these fields. So the next video is when we'll do that step.